Hey guys, I want to start by thanking Deb. Thank you for the donation, Deb. Hey guys, how you going? Okay, let's get into this. We've got another one, Bites the Dust. And that would be Ben Stiller. Is it Ben Stiller? Oh, Anne Miles Chong anyway said she's also a historic candidate. She's going to be the first woman president and that's incredibly exciting. And you know she's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing, it's incredible. I'm Jewish and Irish. I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Really? I'm Jewish and Irish. I, oh, Ben Stiller on why you should vote for Camilla Harris. So you should vote for Camilla Harris not because she's a decent leader. She's not. Or because she has a lot of experience. She doesn't. But because she's a woman who's Indian and black. Identity politics is cancer. Let's have a little listen while I put my earphones on. These Obviously trying to raise money here. I just want to let you know I'm going to match your $150,000 donation. Everybody's got to get out and vote and donate. Um, and she's also a, a historic candidate. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, she's Indian. She's black. She's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black every white jewish guy wishes he was black um you know it's just do they there and, and and vote and donate and like take advantage this is such an important time right now and this this with this wave of energy that's happening we got, got to keep going with it so please do everything you can i just want another one bites the dust and another one's gone and another one's gone another one bites the dust <laughs> oh dear ben stiller Nick Adams Alpha Male said, Wow, disgraced attorney Jenna Ellis will cooperate with Arizona prosecutors against Trump in exchange for her charges being dropped in the fake electors case. Uh, he calls her a backstabbing wench. Um, she would be nothing without President Trump. Ellis should be ostracized from the GOP. And that's according to Nick Adams Alpha Male. Then we've got this one. Okay, this is uh, your VP pick uh, for Kamala Harris. <laughs> Andy No said during the deadly 2020 riots in Minnesota, Governor Tim Walz, a Democrat, delayed sending in the state National Guard. His daughter openly supported the riots on social media and appeared to have passed intel onto rioters she received from her father. Great, that's all you need. Okay. And I believe that's why, you know, I, I still, I can't believe this is not we're not watching a movie cue the bubble said come on people don't do this this is apparently a parking station uh you've got to pay for parking everywhere in uh, australia now apparently well you've got to pay for it at the beaches and you've got to pay for it in my little country town they have these machines it'd be a real shame if someone did this to it not that i would i would never do anything like this um and cue the bubble said come on people don't do this Let's have a listen. Oh. <laughs> okay, what they've done is they, looks like they have spray painted the things that, like, what are they called? Say like cameras and things like that, anything that can detect detectors, okay? And then they filled all the gaps with gap filler. <laughs> you know that foam that expands when you spray it? That's what it looks like they've done. Okay. Anyway. Be a shame if someone did that. Elon Musk said everyone who's been boycotted should file a lawsuit in every country they've been boycotted. I don't know what he's talking about. Rumble said breaking. Rumble has joined X to sue a cartel of advertisers and ad agencies who conspired to block ad revenues from going to certain platforms and content creators. Yeah, that would be me. Garm was a cons conspiracy to per per perpetrate and advertise a boycott of Rumble and others. That's illegal. There you go. I think there's a class action lawsuit coming. Ian Miles Chong said former Scottish First Minister Hamza Yousaf who has instituted numerous anti-free speech laws that have been, had a chilling effect on political discourse in the country, is threatening to leave the UK and Europe because he doesn't feel like immigrants are welcome. 
See you later, mate. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. You cut me open and I'm, I'm as about as Scottish as you come. But the truth of the matter is, I don't know whether the future for me and my wife and my three children is going to be here in Scotland or the United Kingdom or indeed in Europe and the West because I have for some time really worried about the rise of Islamophobia. I wrote a, a column about it actually just about a month ago, the rise of the far right driven by Islamophobia in Europe, UK and the West. And we are now seeing the culmination of, not years actually, decades of anti-migrant, anti-Muslim rhetoric being normalised in our political discourse, now playing out in the most horrendous, violent way possible. And that genuinely makes me question whether or not my family uh, has an existence here in, in, in the UK uh, or not. And by the way, I'm not the only one. I've had hundreds of messages, hundreds uh, of messages from the Muslim community saying the exact same thing. Well, hopefully, because when you go to another country, you don't take all your ways and try and in insta shoot all the all of your laws into the new country you abide by the new country you assimilate into the new country no one's against muslims and everything else but it's when you bring everything over with you and you can't have more of one community than another when it has always been the uk britain has always been white now you can't just send a whole lot of different people in there with different ideals it's not the same thing concerned citizen and I'd say to him don't let the door hit you on the way out seriously that's all I can say and I feel that way about Australia as well concerned citizens said they've marched them now and the reason he's saying that I believe is he's saying the rise of the far right they they're paying both sides believe me they are bussing them around. Those are not, the people who are starting riots are not normal people. They are paid antagonists. Concerned citizens said they'd marched them down. You effing traitors, man in Liverpool films the police deliberately guide far left protesters towards those deemed far right by the government to purposefully spark conflict. This is an absolute setup. This is all planned. It's deliberate. Watch. This is a straight as shit. Look, look what they've caused now. They brought them to this march and they're doing it on purpose. You rats. Look at him in the front with his mask on. Fascist. Whoa, they set this up. Look at the state of them. This you can see yourself. They've marched them down from St George's, all the shit houses. I'd say the best thing you can do is sit back and watch the shit show. Seriously, that's the best thing you can do right now. Cat Turd said, "There it is. Tampon Tim is the number one trend in the USA." <laughs> that's a new VP with Camilla. His name is because he put tampons in the men's bathrooms, apparently. I've got more on that. Doge designer said breaking. Donald Trump says he'll be doing an interview with Elon Musk on on Monday night. That would be about when? Next Monday? Okay. I've got my granddaughter coming today, so I won't be here tomorrow. Uh, Tom Fla Playford said yet again tonight, renewables are failing us in South Australia. Look at the cost of electricity here thanks to the failure of wind. The only state without coal generation, our power costs a fortune. And yet again, diesel is backing up our grid. In Queensland, it's 159.89. In New South Wales, 159.05. In South Australia, it's 9,899.50. Are they kidding? Demand versus generation. Jeez. Not doing too well now, are we? Wow. Okay. Libs of TikTok said not all students who menstruate are female. MN State Rep Sandra Feist. Sandra sponsored the, the bill which Tim Walsh signed, which requires tampons in boys' bathrooms in schools. 
Of course you would. I don't know, just one look at them. You can kind of tell. Is it the glasses? Is it the hair? Someone tell me what it is, please, because you can look at them and you nearly can tell straight away what the... Oh, dear. Okay. I can tell this one straight away. Libs of TikTok said this is Rep. Lee Fink, who sponsored the Trans Refuge Bill, which Tim Wall signed, which made him Minnesota a sanctuary state for trans kids to receive sex change treatments and surgeries. Oh, dear God. Please come back and help us. DC Drano. <laughs> I can't. I just can't anymore. I can't. Oh, DC Drano said, whoa, Trump predicts Biden might try and take back the nomination at the DNC after it was stolen by Kamala. What does Trump know that we don't? Donald J. Trump apparently said, what are the chances of crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the US, whose presidency was unconstitutionally stolen from him by Kamala, Barack Hussein Obama, crazy Nancy Pelosi, shifty Adam Schiff, crying Chuck, Chuck Schumer, and others on the lunatic left, crashes the Democrat National Convention and tries to take back the nomination, beginning with the challenging me to another debate. He feels like he made a historic, tragic mistake by handing over the US presidency, a coup, to the people in the world he most hates, and he wants it back now. Wow. This is going to get really interesting, guys. I wouldn't worry either. I think um, the Democrats aren't going to win. Libs of TikTok said, Wow, a Sif merchant, a Pakistani national, was arrested for attempting to hire a hitman for a planned assassination on President Trump. Okay, uh, do you believe this? It's from ABC. Somehow, I don't believe it. What are people in the comments section saying? No, I don't think so. I don't know, but I, why do I not think? This is what they would say, especially if the three-letter agencies were involved. Or oh, let's just bl blame a Pakistani national. He pro like, he probably was planning another one. He could have been planning another one. But anyway, okay. Canberra said, as of now, communism is on the ballot. If Kamala and Walsh remain in the Democratic remain the Democratic candidates. In November, we have a choice, communism or freedom. Scott Zimmerman said, another shout out to Central Casting for bringing this dipshit into the movie. Dustin Grage said, here's a bizarre clip from an interview with Glenn, Gwen Walsh, stating that she left her windows open during the Minneapolis riots so she could smell the burning tires. Her daughter also coordinated with Rise to let no National Guard would not be activated one night. I would say those first days, you know, when there were riots, I could smell the burning tires. And um, that was that was a very real thing. And I kept the windows open for as long as I could because I felt like that was such a touchstone of what was what was happening. Fruit loop. I would say those first days, you know, when there were riots, I could smell the burning tires. Yeah, she's out of Fruit Loop, seriously? Yeah, another insane white Marxist woman, woman lunatic. Whoops, I'm going to sneeze, hang on. Oh, quick, quick. Okay. Charlie Kirk said, welcome to the race, Tim Walls. Let's make sure America knows who you are. You helped ignite the George Floyd riots, the worst the country's seen in decades. While Minneapolis burned, you stalled on deploying the National Guard for an entire day, blaming the city for not submitting the right paperwork. You let your daughter leak the Guard's deployment plans online so that riders would know how long they had to loot the city with impunity. Minneapolis is a war zone because of you. Just days after the attempted murder of Donald Trump, you call him and his supporters fascists, egging on the same rhetoric that led to him being shot in the first place. You have overseen some of the most radical youth trans surgery laws in the country. Under your leadership, teenagers can get their breasts chopped off and get sterilised, and your government calls it health care. You have the most radical abortion laws in the country, zero limits. Every year, five to six babies are born alive and then taken out, aborted, legally under the laws you support. So they're born alive and then taken out, aborted legally under laws you support. This is insane, not? No. 
On immigration, you famously said you wanted to provide a ladder so invaders can come over Trump's wall. You are a radical open border zealot. You oversaw the single worst fraud of the COVID era, the Feeding Our Future case. Thanks to ineptitude at your Department of Education, criminals stole $250 million of taxpayer dollars to spend on luxury cars, houses and vacations. Also during COVID, you approved $500 million in hero pay for frontline workers only to have 40% of that money go to people who were ineligible or in many cases literally deceased. In other words, sticking it back in your pocket. In the House, you were Pelosi's sidekick and did whatever the Democrats demanded. You will try and disguise yourself as a folksy Midwestern moderate. In reality, you're a white male version of Kamala Harris. Radical, inept, undeserving to be in leadership. Make this go viral, ruin their honeymoon. Let's educate millions because the media will not. There you go. I can't get to millions of people. I can only get to 100 or 200 maybe. Help me out here, guys. <laughs> Canberra said this video will blow your mind. Camilla was raised in a communist home, raised around communist people, and to this day is funded by communists. This video could end her career. Uh, Biden's current White House press secretary met with communists as Camilla's staffer. Okay, there's 23 minutes. I'm not playing that. But anyway, I think we know. Joe Rambo said you can't make this stuff up. Trump family said who is Tim Walsh? Fueled BLM rights in 2020. Rioters looted and wrecked Minneapolis. Change MN state flag to resemble Somalia's. What? Killed old people with COVID nursing home scandal. Pushed youth trans surgery hormone therapy agenda. Soldiers accused Walls of embe embezzling collectively, selectively, sorry, omitting facts about his military career. Fellow soldiers accused him of quitting on them. And he got a DUI in 1995 going 96 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour speed zone. And he praises socialism. There you go. America's first legal said he entered the US in April. While he was here, he made phone calls trying to hire a hitman to carry out his alleged scheme to assassinate government officials on US soil. One of the intended targets was former President Trump. Massive failure from Biden-Harris admin. I don't know because I still don't believe it. I don't. Three-letter agencies would, of course, you know, patsies, more patsies. Just let's throw as many as we can at them. Wall Street Apes said news, 731.24. This is serious. Shelley Moore Capito has uncovered Biden admin secretly funded anti-American groups through the Inflation Reduction Act. MDN Collective called for defunding of the police, now United States military. We have two New York and New Jersey coalitions that are getting $50 million. Their quotes are, the border and concept of citizenship is racist and wants no collaboration with federal immigration officials and the ICE agenda is racist as well. Then we have the social environment, environmental entrepreneurs, $50 million, again, abolish police, abolish prisons. The Ella Baker Center for Human Rights, the most recent funding as announced last week, is getting between one and $3 million and they are actively advocating to defund police, decriminalize shoplifting and abolish our prisons. Climate justice, $100 million, glorifying terrorist groups. And more, this is crazy. We are funding our own demise, thanks to the Biden admin. You'll do worse on the Camilla one. Anyway, it's the same. Pretty much the same. it's just the same plan, carrying on. Brian Tyson said there's no hiding from that statement. Name one country that survived financially from socialism. And Camus said one person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. What? Don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Don't ever shy away from... Oh, dear God. So that's them. Okay, so tampon tin, Tim is um, trending. Man, the pe Trump people move fast. They just dropped a blistering ad that exposes Tim Walz for putting tampons in the boys' bathrooms, allowing minor children to have their genital genitals permanently mutilated, putting men in women's sports, and the guys so far left. It's not funny. He also stole $250 million from Feeding Our Future, uh, Minneapolis children's charity put in place during the COVID hoax. He's a parasite like them all. Okay, the next one will be a rumble. Okay, you got it. You got to see that one anyway. Um, Wall Street Silver. I don't know if this is true, and I think this is just trying to inflame tensions. But Wall Street Silver said the native British population has been mostly disarmed. Even most police officers do not carry a gun. Does this thing look real to anyone? I don't know. I'm just asking. It probably is. The new invading population doesn't follow the same rules. 
Radia Genoa said Muslim immigrants in UK show us their intentions. It will end very badly. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this is just to try and inflame tensions? Do you in the UK feel like you need to be able to defend yourself in your homes? Okay, Alex Jones said breaking. Tommy Robinson gives major update. Live UK government paying provocateurs to trigger the right. Like I said, <clears throat> they did it in America. They did it here in Australia. Not riots here, but that you had BLM protesters and you did have some provocateurs. Okay, Winnie Broderick said just making sure you sold everything last week like I told you to right before um, the crash. Juanita Broderick also said, would anyone else like to know what stocks the Pelosi's bought and sold last week before this crash? It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Then we've got Cat Turd. Hitler would be proud. Concerned citizens said, am I going to be locked up for the night? Do I need to bring my medications? Welcome to 2024 Britain, where the police arrive at your home to arrest you for comments made on Facebook. And this goes after in 2020, when comments you made on Facebook could also get you arrested in the UK. And Australia. As Britain descends into lawless chaos, the government's priority clearly isn't fixing it, but it's to go after the, those that voice their opinion about it online. The UK is now a fascist state under authorita author authoritative totalitarian rule. Um, what do you mean I can't have any alcohol? Okay, well, I'll tell you. Okay, the time's uh, 20 to 3, 1440. Arresting you on suspicion of improper use of the electronic uh, communications network. I'm just what? 127 Communications Act, okay? So you do not have to save it. It may harm your defence if you don't mention one question, something which you later arrive in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand that? So I'm actually being arrested? You're going to be arrested, okay? Right. So and you got to the police station. Right. You, okay, this is in relation to some comments that you've made on a Facebook page. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, it's your Facebook crime, is it? Okay. Right. So, we need to ask you some questions about that. Right. Have you got anything in your pocket? Um, I've got my keys. I've got... No, that's about it, I think. Keys. So, anyone who's been arrested, we can search them under Section 32 of the Basic Level Act. Right. And that's for dangerous items. Hey, can you, can, I mean, did you, you said I was going to be on arrested under some what inf information? Or, or, I'm going to be arrested for posting on Facebook. Some comments that are offensive, obscene, and people have made complaints about that, and it's transferred. And can you can you tell me what this comment was? We'll okay, well, we'll do interview. that when we interview. All right, and okay. so what am I going to be locked up for the night, or well, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Right, do I need to take my medications us, with me? How yes, we will look at taking all of those. When do you need to take them? Well, I've got pain medications, I've got sleeping medication, I've got anxiety medications, which I might take one of those in a bit, okay. you know? Well, if we take everything with us, then you've got everything there, haven't you? And then, and then, the okay. nurse, then that, we've got a nurse up there, they'll be able to... Um, okay. They'll be able to look at, come and see you, and then once you've been there, they can assess whether or not the medication can be issued. Alright, so what we're going to do is you want to pop yourself up, we're just A couple of things. This looks like a performance. She looked like she threw her clothes on very quickly because half of her collar is tucked in instead of out. Um, she fixes it during it. I think this is all an act to try and scare people away from making any posts on social media. That's what I think it is. Okay, Carly Bones said we haven't been watching a movie, we've been watching a bad sitcom. Okay, this, this is, um, I can't play this on YouTube because I'll get a copyright, but go to Rumble for um, Julia Louise Dreyfus uh, acting as pretty much Kamala. Okay, hang on a sec. Uh, but Laura, How is isn't she already involved? Yeah, I mean, her Veep character, Selena Meyer, was the leading cultural indicator for Kamala Harris's entire run. She prepared the way years ago. Whatever we have in store cannot be known but given time it, it it can be understood it is a reflection of our moment and our time right and 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 
present culture is the way we express how we're feeling about the moment. I'm asking you to meet me at the station and join me as we board a train bound for a place called the future. Laura, so it's eerie. like the Veep writers, Veep writers. scripted it's it's like they scripted every address Kamala Harris has ever recited. I mean, it's like prophecy. Watching it again is really scary. But I would stay as far away from this actress and Veep as I possibly could if I had anything to do with this campaign. I guess they missed the irony. Well, Raymond, it's it, remember in the Atlantic magazine they said today that it's her oddball charm. So it's like it's like Elaine from Seinfeld. Let's just just go along. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We have serious, you know, World War Three meltdown of the economy. Millions oh. of people here illegally. Yeah, exactly. As long as the president is a In woman. The uh, okay, Colin Ruggs. Uh, did I play this one? New Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, I did. She's drunk. How to, to forgets how to talk during an interview with CNN reveals that she and President Biden are not talking to each other. Pelosi is believed to be one of the main conspirators who successfully forced Biden out of the presidential race. Whether it's, well, it's the first bill, the first bill uh, that protect uh, our uh, uh, assault, our bill, COVID. shots in the yeah. arm, money in the pockets, children in school, people at work, the infrastructure bill, building, building in a way that is respectful of communities, Pe chips and science. Statement. Have you spoken to President Biden since he no. dropped out? No, I have not. Do you hope to? Yes, when, I hope to. Yeah, we're all busy. Is, that, is everything okay yeah. with your relationship? You'd have to ask him, but I hope okay. so. Okay. But he knows. Uh, look, I have loved Joe Biden, respected him for over forty years. Mm -hmm. We have. I was a party chair in California, then I became member of Congress, and then one thing, other housewife. House member, House Speaker, working with him all along. I think he has made one of the biggest contributions to our country in the shortest period of time, whether it's, well, it's the first bill. Okay, the volume goes up and down in this clip, so I'm sorry if I blew your ears off then. But these people have no loyalty. They have loyalty to a party and a, an agenda, but they have no loyalty to each other. Toby Young said press coverage portrayed... Oh no, okay, that's it for today. That was Lucy, a Lucy Letby one, which I will be going over another time. In the meantime, I've got my granddaughter coming up to stay and I, will be, I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be back on Friday. Okay, guys, I hope you have a good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.